Buenos dias, buenos dias, and welcome back, cosmonauts. On this boring Wednesday, where nothing much is happening, to be honest, we're seeing a little bit of green today. We're seeing a little bit of green after yesterday's crash. I hope um, you're not getting shaken out. Like right now, it's not the time to get shaken out. That's the worst time, literally, to get shaken out. And if we look inside the Cosmos ecosystem, the top gainers of the day, um, if we compare it also against Bitcoin, is actually Stride. Uh, up 22% against Bitcoin today, now has a market cap of 328 million US dollars. Stride also has a TVL of around 80 million. Let's look at Atom itself, right? Currently $9.24, and you might have already seen it. The bonded ratio is currently at 64.8%. And if we look further inside here, we can see that the bonded ratio for Atom actually has gone up only for the past couple of weeks, right? We bottomed out here at around 63.5%. Now, why is this important? And why do I keep telling you about this all the time? It is important because the atom inflation rate is actually packed to the bonded ratio, which means how much is staked to the network, how many atoms that exist are actually being staked. Now, the gold bonded ratio for atom is set at 67%. And there is an inflation range that ranges from a minimum of 7% to a maximum of 10%. So if we are below the gold bonded, below 67% of a bonded ratio for Atom, which we currently are, we are at 64.8, the inflation rate will go up to a roof of 10%, to a maximum of 10%. We currently are already at the maximum of 10% after the Atom halving a couple of weeks ago which means we can't go higher than that. Now, as I showed you, we are on a trajectory to actually reclaim the 67% mark. We're only 2% away now, 2.1, 2.2, which means if we go above 67%, the inflation will slowly, slowly, gradually go down until it reaches a floor, a minimum of 7%. We just need to be long enough above 67% so that we can reach the 7% inflation minimum. Now, I personally really hope that we get above 67% again, that we get down to 7%, to the floor of 7% inflation rate, and that we see massive adoption for liquid stake tokens across Cosmos and IBC DeFi. With a lot of DeFi applications like Quasar, like Nolos, Mars, Umi, and, and so on and so forth, where you can actually also use liquid staked Atom in DeFi. So you can actually enjoy the staking rewards plus maximize your yield through LST5, liquid staking token finance. That is, I think, a big, big trend. And you will see a lot more content around that also now that we have the persistence partnership. Obviously, we're going to look into a lot of use cases for SDK Atom across the board. Now, there is one big proposal that I actually wish that it, that it passed but it failed, it got rejected um, just yesterday, which is to actually remove that 7% floor and set it to 0%, which would mean if we were long enough above 67% bonded ratio for Atom, the inflation would actually have a pathway to go to zero. And in a world of ultrasound money, the Bitcoin halving coming up, Polygon has their POL, hypersound money, I think they, they call it. A lot of these narratives around low inflation, real yield, and sound money. I think for Atom, which is trying to become interchain money and interchain capital, it is, it is important, right? Now, I think this failed because of two things. Number one, I personally think the, the, the proposal was poorly written. I think there was not, not much context around it. And a lot of people conflicted this with we're setting the inflation to 0% now. So I think that was like a lot of misconceptions. And like, you know, I did videos about that when it came out um, and explained that and clarified that. But I think that's the first thing. And I think the second thing is people are really tired of like changing the parameters and really want to see adoption, right? We really want to see something that blows up, something that generates revenue, that makes the hub great again, makes the Cosmos hub fun and enjoyable again. And that, ladies and gentlemen, in my personal view, could be, or at least currently, it definitely is, CFT20s, a steroid protocol, which is an inscriptions and 
uh, native issuance and token factory for so-called Cosmos fungible tokens, CFT20s. And the big news now is actually that the marketplace is live. So you can now trade your CFT20 tokens and you can already see that the top two here are obviously ROIDs, the Asteroids token, the first one, which is the Ordi equivalent for the Cosmos Hub, 15,000 Atom in trading volume, which means $140,000. And second is Stake Cito with Hat, Stake token, which is our token uh, from the Stake Cito validator. In the beginning, we, ins we inscribed that to the, to the network, to the Cosmos Hub blockchain. And uh, it is an experiment, right? It is a crazy, crazy and fun experiment. Um, we actually didn't get to mint a lot. We didn't get to mint a lot with the team, with the company or, you know, any of us. Uh, I minted a few. Uh, some of our team members didn't mint any stake tokens. But now that the marketplace is live, we actually came out and we said, we, we're going to accumulate some stake, right? Uh, it's a fun experiment. It's a meme token. Absolutely no utility. But we are going to accumulate more and more. Me personally, but also obviously with with the stake Cito treasury we're going to we're going to purchase some obviously we're not deploying millions here so don't expect that um yeah the prices that is going to go through the roof but um it's a fun experiment right and and um yeah the stake token is out there uh, you can trade that you can trade a lot of these meme coins we have the veg token uh, jake 1 so jake 1 or jake 1 there's also this meme around uh sunny the sunny token is also here uh, ibc gangsters Reese, Atomic Swap, a lot of these tokens are here. And some people have also asked me like, yo, what's the point? You know, and there's like almost 4,000 of those tokens now. The point really is that this is restoring culture. And it also strengthens the relationship between the Cosmos Hub community and the chain itself, right? Because now we have something that we can create. It, it unlocks creativity on the Cosmos Hub. Um, you can also literally go here on the inscriptions and people can just inscribe whatever. They can just use the chain, right? It, it's just fun. It's uh, memeable. It's it's just an engaging and interactive with the community. And you're seeing a huge revival on the Bitcoin network ever since Ordinal's protocol went live and a lot of things around it. You really see this BRC20 season and a lot of people are really calling this kind of a, a new a new era for for Bitcoin. So I think this could also be a huge huge um, new direction for Atom and the Cosmos Hub. And it already generated a lot of fees for the Atom Staker and Delegator community um, and for validators, of course. So this is something that is very very promising as of today. Um, now we're also more than one week in. Uh, some people said in the beginning, like, you know, let this, let this cool off after one week, nobody will talk about it. But here we are still talking about it, right? And more features, the marketplace is here now. I think the Asteroid team did the impossible possible, which is to make Atom fun again. Now, another thing that is Atom specific is Atom Wars. Atom Wars are coming. I personally don't really know much about it, to be quite honest. Uh, we talked about it very briefly with Jihan on the spaces. But Atom Wars is basically a gamification for protocol-owned liquidity of the Cosmos Hub. And protocol-owned li liquidity does two things with the Cosmos Hub, actually, right? Number one, it acts as a use case for the Cosmos Hub chain to be an interchain service provider. And it also strengthens DeFi applications in the Cosmos. So it's like this philosophical positioning for the Hub. And number two, it strengthens Atom's role as money, right? So Atom really is an asset that is considered as interchain money, interchain capital, and protocol on liquidity can not only make that a reality, but also generate a new revenue model for Atom. Now, let's talk briefly about Adrops and Celestia. Celestia, uh, stakers are getting the alt layer airdrop. This is now officially confirmed from the alt layer team. Snapshot was January 17th. And token launch is January 25. So that is actually tomorrow. And um, we will not be able to claim immediately, but we'll be able to claim uh, later at a later stage. And I think the total allocation for the airdrop is 3%. And out of the 3%, roughly 10% are going to Celestia stakers and others. We don't know exactly what and others means. Um, but if you're a Celestia staker, uh, you might get some alt tokens 
and Tang from my team here at, at Cryptocito also uh, shared this year, where they're saying that due to technical differences, we would make the airdrop available for a claim at a later stage post listing. So that means that, you know, there will be a price and you will FOMO on the alt price because I think it's going to launch very high because alt layer is also invested and incubated by uh, Jump, by Lagis, Polychain, uh, Kevin Wood, and um, also I think um, Binance, Binance Labs, which is great. Like that's a decent list. That's a decent list. So you will want to have your alt airdrop as soon as this go, goes on, on the launch pool, but you need to be patient. You need to be patient. Next up, we have a big upgrade from Omniflix talking a little bit also about the NFT and media media sector in Cosmos. There's actually a lot that is happening with NFTs and gaming in Cosmos, which I kept saying for two years now, two and a half, three years, gaming is extremely underdeveloped in Cosmos, um, gaming and NFTs. Now we have Stargaze taking off, the bad kids taking off, Omniflix that just released their V2 upgrade, which is a major, major upgrade for the Omniflix chain and for the NFT landscape in Cosmos, because now we have interoperable NFTs. Interchain NFTs are now a reality. You can transfer your NFTs uh, interchain. And there's also this difference between multi-chain and interchain, by the way, in that context. Multi-chain means you launch one product on all chains and they all connect to each other. And interchain means you launch a product on one chain and it can just float around all these different chains just on the side here. And you can actually see when this happened and the anticipation around it, the Flix token price went from like 28 cents from 26 even all the way to 36. And it's now consolidating at around 32 cents. So Flix, very, very bullish on the team, on the product, on their vision, on everything, to be honest. I love the Flix team, some of the best and most underrated people in all crypto. And as I said, there's a lot that's coming and that's cooking in Cosmos when it comes to gaming and NFTs. Tabby, which is a project I have not had on my radar at all. I don't even know if you pronounce it Tabby or, or Tabby, I don't know. Um, but Tabby NFT, um, they made a tweet recently, 1.1 million, uh, um, million impressions, and that they're coming to Cosmos and they're also leveraging the EVM, the Ethereum virtual machine. Um, so I'm not sure if that's leveraging Ethermint or a fork of FMOS or something else, I don't know, just building their own from scratch, who knows. But yeah, this is a gaming chain and they are backed by Animoca and Binance Labs. And that's very interesting. Binance Labs is now investing a lot into the Cosmos ecosystem, actually. They invested in Neutron, they now invested in, in Tabi here uh, and a bunch of other projects. We actually made a video about that a couple of months ago about the VC landscape and how VCs are, and which VCs are investing in Cosmos. But yeah, this is exciting. I think the more chains, the merrier, the more chains, the better. Uh, it just proves IBC, it just proves the app chain thesis, um, which is something that coming out of this bear market is incredibly bullish for the Cosmos ecosystem. So that's Tabby. Then probably even the biggest news from the past couple of days and, and weeks is Setlus, Setlus Official, which is a new Cosmos L1 that is also optimized for gaming and NFTs, but it's basically a chain to launch games. And you come here and you're like, okay, I don't know, Setlos kind of, um, there's not much going on here. But if you know who is behind Setlos, then it gets very, very interesting because who is behind Setlos is PUBG Battlegrounds, which has a huge, huge game that is uh, very, very successful, uh, developed by a company called Craftone. And Krafton is based out of South Korea. I actually had a call with the team just uh, yesterday. And this is a big, big win for the Cosmos ecosystem, for the Cosmos gaming ecosystem, right? So now we have Tabby, we have Setlus, we also have Xpla, which is a chain that also no one is really talking about, but it's also listed here. If you go on MinScan, you can also see Xpla um, right here. So that's also a chain that's actually already on mainnet, $70 million market cap right now. So that's also one based out of Korea, South Korea. And yeah, a lot more, a lot more things that are coming, right? Saga is coming, um, Omniflix, Passage, The Strange Clan, Stargaze. I feel like the NFT and gaming ecosystem in Cosmos is really coming together big time right now. And now please go over and watch my video from two days ago where I talk about the airdrop game, how to have the right mentality and mindset for mastering the airdrop game, and most importantly, how to not get 
wrecked 